Black Lives Matter. My name is Sister Unity. We are fighting for our neighbors. My life would not be nearly as rich, as joyful, as blessed if it weren't for my black neighbors, my fellow black citizens. White Americans have contributed a lot to the country. Black Americans have built the country. Black Americans are the soul of America. We all have a fight on our hands, surprised after what we thought were years when everything was okay. But black Americans knew all along the truth. Racism never went away. It is time for white Americans to listen to black Americans. It is time for us to ally and to help. How? First, listen. You have a lot of ideas. You feel sure you know the steady paths to success. But take time to stand back and allow black Americans to speak for themselves, to speak for us. Hand the torch to black Americans. Allow them the privilege. It is time to listen and to follow and to support and to help. Another way you can do this is promote black voices. Boost their voices. They have been held at a historic disadvantage, not listened to, and placed in positions economically, geographically, financially, of inferiority by white powers. So everything you can do to set them on an equal footing and to amplify these voices. These voices have so much power, so much truth, so much heart. It is time to make these voices heard, to listen to these voices ourselves. If you are black and you are fighting right now, I personally want to thank you with all my heart for everything that you are doing for yourselves and for all of us. My gods, thank you. It is so important in this short life that we are given as an enormous gift by the universe. It is so important to wake up. The clarity of truth does set you free. No matter how uncomfortable that freedom may end up being, it is still the most important thing. Here's my last idea for how I plan to help. Communication. Working together. Self-sacrifice, self-restraint, self-discipline so that you make room for other people's good. I hope and plan to make room for the good, for the ideas, for the truth, the voices, and the presence of my black fellow citizens. How can you make room for others' good? How can you listen and communicate? How can you promote unity in our community so that we all move forward hand in hand because that is the chain that does not enslave and it does not break. That is the human chain hand in hand that marched across the bridge at Selma. Let us all organize our own minds and hearts through whatever spiritual practice or personal practice you may have, get centered, get focused, get in your heart, ground yourself, and then connect to each other and then get to work. This is a historically important fight because people are important. Black people are extremely important. Every single one.
in memory of George Floyd. May his death have sparked the fight and the winning of this long struggle.